Hi YouTube. So I wanted to come and talk to you all about my New Year's Eve new hair resolution. So I have been really thinking about what I want to do next year in regards with my hair and just where I'm taking my journey and just reflecting back on this prior year of 2013 and what I've done wrong to my hair, how I've neglected my hair some months, how I've really treated my hair good some months, and just kind of where am I going with my hair journey and what is my next step or my next phase for my growth. So I've really been thinking just trying to come up with a list of things that I would like to do or that I would like to accomplish for next year with my hair that I haven't done in the past. So one of the things that I know I didn't or I don't really do as often is blow my hair out. So uh, as you can see, I do have my hair blown out and so my twist out, uh, it does have some length on it, which I've really been enjoying lately. And I think that next year I will definitely blow my hair out a lot more because I do like it with the length on it. So as you can see, you know, it hangs a little bit longer over my shoulders and things like that, so I like it. So I will be blowing my hair out a lot more. Uh, one of the things I would try to do is more protective styling. I think this year I did some protective styling, but it wasn't really like stylish, I would say. Um, I tried to do some that were stylish, but I know I really got lazy and just stuck with the twist and just pin them up, which is my go-to style, and I really don't want to do anything to my hair. So this year, I'm hoping to get a little bit more elaborate with my hairstyles and try different things as far as curling my hair, rolling my hair up, things like that. So in 2014, I would definitely be going for more girlier type of protective styles. That's the best way I can say it. So something a little bit, I guess, more jazzy with my hair. I think I just want to enjoy my hair a lot more than I've really been doing in this past year and in the years prior. So one thing I will not be using is any more combs. I have tried so many combs to detangle my hair and the reality is my hair just doesn't like combs. And so I am gonna have to come to terms with the fact that finger detangling is my friend. And so my last wash session, I had a really good wash session because I just kind of just sucked it up and just dealt with the fact that I have to detangle my hair with my fingers. And if I don't get out all the shed hairs, that's okay. My whole purpose of trying to use a comb or anything to really help me detangle was so I could flat iron my hair. Uh, as you all know, or some of you may not know who just subscribed to my channel, I have never flat ironed my hair. The most I've done is this, is a blowout. And so I really want to flat iron my hair, but if I can't get a comb through it, there's no point of me trying to flat iron tangled hair. So as a result, I'm not really sure I'll even be flat ironing my hair. If I do, I may have to go to a, a professional to get some help. I don't know. I'm still trying to ponder on that. So next year I'll be five years and I really want to flat iron my hair for my five year anniversary. So I'm going to work towards that goal so that when I do hit my five year mark, I will be putting some direct heat on my hair and hopefully flat ironing my hair. So I'm really excited about that and hopefully I can stick to my regimen and really be disciplined in my hair journey and my hair goals for 2014. So Another thing I want to do is no more new products. This year I went haywire crazy and was just buying products left or right, whether it was on sale, whether I had heard about it on YouTube, it's the next hottest thing. Uh, and in previous years, I didn't really do that. I didn't really care to, to, to pretty much jump on on the product bandwagon. But this year I just really wanted to try some different things because I had stuck to my Shea Moisture and my same old products for about three years. And I really just wanted to take my fourth year and just enjoy it a little bit more in terms of products. So this year I turned into a product junkie, which I hate I did, but I've been really enjoying trying different products and just sampling stuff on my hair. And so next year I do plan to just take the products that I have already purchased and just use those and run out of those. So I saw um, 
Black is Beautiful do a video on her product empties. And so I'm hoping that next year you all will see a lot of product empty videos from me. Just me showing you all that I do use my products and I am using them. So that's one of the things I'll be doing. Uh, another thing, I will be getting back to basics with my hair. I've just strayed away from my strict regimen I used to have. I used to be pretty strict as far as doing my hair every two weeks, faithfully washing, condition, protein treatment, all of that jazz. And then I started experimenting with new products and trying different things and just time just got away from me and I just got really lazy and bored with my hair. And so I stopped caring for my hair because I was just so bored with it and uninterested in it. So I think with me applying heat, now to my hair i'm really starting to enjoy my hair a lot more and just seeing what other different styles that i can come up with so again as i said before you all will see a lot more heat applied to my hair because i have done as many twist outs on my wet shrunken hair as i want to and i just want to see what else styles i can create on my hair so please look out for those videos next year and i will be doing my regimen bi-weekly again I'm, I'm going back to my bi-weekly i was on a once a month pattern at first just washing condition protein all that good stuff once a month and my hair i don't think it's in the best shape that it can be it's it's doing good but i feel like once i flat iron my hair i'm gonna have to cut off quite a few inches on the ends of my hair which brings me to my next uh Thing I'm gonna do for next year I will be cutting my hair and I know some people will probably start <laughs> thumbs down my videos something like that I know I'll see a lot of comments the reason is because I do have a lot of like knots and tangles and things like that on the ends of my hair and I actually have never really given myself a really good trim I've been like dusting my ends I've trimmed my hair maybe at the most probably half an inch uh over the years though uh that i've been natural i've trimmed off about a good three or four inches but it's been like gradual nothing drastic and my hair needs a drastic cut like i hate to even say it of maybe about three inches i'm not even sure um I have to flat iron my hair to see and that's the main reason of why I've been going through this whole detangling cycle. I just really need to get my hair to a point to where I can straighten it to see what my ends really look like. I can do it with a blow dryer but I can't get my hair to lay enough so that I can clip it to the way I need to if that makes sense. So uh, those are going to be my natural hair resolutions for 2014. Uh, again, leave your comments down below what you'll be doing to your hair next year. What are your hair resolutions? And I would love to read them all. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a or had a Merry Christmas. And I hope you all have a very happy new year. And I will see you in 2014. Alrighty. Bye.